How to identify a cult nowadays? Well, an interesting question that may be, and anyone may say that. Identifying a cult, or aka a hidden group, is kind of uh, difficult, many might say, but I would say it's pretty easy. See, the whole world is a cult, so the point is, that might be the reason why you may think finding one is difficult, because if you may not have been paying attention, kind of everything in this world seems to have become a cult. Society itself is a cult, right? Social medias, in a way, are a cult. So, the point of a cult is basically something or someone, a group of people or a single person, but typically it's a group of people, they are the ones in charge and, well, they only seek people who function in the same way or are easily programmed to end up functioning and thinking and acting in the same way. In a way, it's basically a bit like communism because they all want people to be the same function the same, think the same, and the most important thing in any cult is that the leading party or person uh, is never gullible. They are never uh, to be held responsible for anything, right? And this will always attract, you know, uh, people who are apathic, right? The opposite of empathic. Because in a cult, you'll always be finding narcissists or people who are self-absorbed. People who master in time the idea of replicating emotions because they are useless in manifesting their emotions. Or let's use the word uh, making use because manifest can be easily uh, misunderstood here. So the point of a cult is to simply make sure that you know, someone or a group of people ensures their psychological existence, or better said, survival, by never being held accountable, right? In a sick society, right, you never see the officials claiming responsibility for things that happen. Those who were honorable enough did for, you know, bad events that were framed for them, and, you know, they simply gave up their functions, and, well, more illiterate people joined in. People who simply don't have any interest or even any professional training. That's what a sick society wants. And since a sick society promotes only this kind of people, obviously it doesn't want them to be gullible. See, the pandemic should have convinced you that the whole society is a cult, because what was the main aspect of the pandemic? Well, problem, reaction, solution, yes, because people were ignorant, but the main important thing and the greatest red flag was whatever happened to you, society was not gullible, right? What does a cult also seek? Well, apart from sheep people or people who are easily programmable to do whatever is, cults only can exist if people have a certain level of, at least a certain level of ignorance. Because, see, people who are ignorant, they are very seclusive. They want to survive mentally, psychologically, emotionally, so they will always be alone. These people are easy to rule because they suffer from tunneled vision, but a very bad tunnel vision because they can't see leftwards and rightwards. They only focus on one thing, and that's the best thing that a cult does. Every cult wants you to be fully focused on that one single person that preaches you, right? And the preacher has to be treated as if they are some kind of holy person. All your attention to them. Once you give all your attention to them and they speak to you, it's like you're the only one there and they only speak to you. So you end up feeling as if you're their favorite. But everyone there is their favorite, right? Because everyone, in a way, gets uh, or, let's say, ends up having that impression. Is this a bad thing? Well, obviously it is, because this programs you to be a traitor, right? Because the moment you realize that anyone else can be the favorite, well, you're gonna feel very pissed, right? Another aspect of cults is to use wounded feminine energy. They invite you in their misery, they make it feel as if it's all good, and they all exploit your uh, necessities. 
That is why the initial interviews. You're not interviewed to see what you have to offer necessarily. They only are interested in how you can be exploited, right? To further give them uh, what you can offer, but at the same time find the means that will keep you there, right? Because most calls also do this, right? It's every, everything that you do is, you know, for free or paid as little as possible. Everything that you do is volunteer work, right? You're never going to be paid because they only take, 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 but they're not interested in giving necessarily, right? A cult is interested in farming you or the followers of their attention because where attention goes, energy flows. So technically you're stripped of your energy. So remember, you have to sleep eight hours a day to have that much energy. So you're technically dead for a third of your life because when you're asleep, well, you're almost like dead, right? You're not doing anything. You're not aware of the world. So technically a third of your life, you're dead. So each day you have a certain amount of energy, be sure how you spend it, because a lot of people will be looking to farm it for free so that they can invest that energy into their own misery, right? Because a lot of people suck, they're nothing but a ruin, and they invest all that energy into such thoughts. So if you want to give your energy to such people, well, that doesn't mean you're going to end up with a happy life, right? So if we think a bit more about this, A cult's main purpose is to keep you entirely uh, happy at the beginning. It's like narcissistic abuse. You're always meant to feel happy and, you know, included as if you can rely on someone, right? But those are people who don't want to be taken as gullible, right? So they don't want to take any responsibility for whatever happens. And it's also always your fault, which is a bit of a narcissistic behavior if you ask me. But not only. And the point is, well, these people will definitely not take any responsibility. So if something bad happens, you're all going to be abandoned and you're all going to waste time wondering why, right? That uh, beautiful paradise or pseudo paradise, better said, uh, how is it that, you know, it got demolished? Why is it that they betrayed you? You thought you were friends. That's what they count on, right? The only link they have with you, the only bond they have with you, is because you're seeking friends, you're seeking attention. That's what cults want, people who are obsessed with attention. Because people who are obsessed, it doesn't matter what they are obsessed with, their obsession can easily be changed, right? Instead of seeking attention, well, a lot of people pose the victim and pose the, you know, the introverts. These people can easily be shaped into you know, what covert narcissists are, right? They don't fight for themselves, they fight for another purpose, right? So that's what they want you to be, someone who fights for another purpose, so that the specific purpose theoretically uh, makes you appear in a good light, right? You're not supporting the... uh, You're not fighting for yourself in a way, you're representing now someone, right? You're always part of a group, right? They want you to feel included, And when people think and act the same, well, you'll end up thinking, hey, everyone thinks and acts the same way as I do. So you're easily programmable to think that everyone else is the enemy. That is a huge problem in the society because such cults can literally educate people to fight for a specific purpose. This is what's been happening for, well, tens of years, right? For decades, this has been covertly happening. People were ignorant to this. And now, well, in the whole world, we are reaping the fruits, right? When you leave all these many little groups fight for whatever small things, well, you'll end up with a lot of people fighting for their own things. And that means, well, civil unrest, civil warfare, right? Being overworked is another aspect of cults because, well, they invite you in their world, they make you feel that everything is good and happy and you can benefit from everything, but you'll be made to work more and more for that, right? When you are overworked, well, the problem is you're not going to have enough time to question anything, right? And questioning things, well, is out of the ordinary, it's out, you know, it's prohibited. This being said, Hopefully this raised a bit of awareness, you are appreciated, take care, enjoy life, and this being said, well, hope to see you uh, in the next videos, enjoy the content, and this being said, Ferenc and Bohr signing out.